get people emailing me and uh, they're, they've gone through this experience with the psychopath and it's uh, it's understandable. Uh, they're very they're filled with hate. Uh, all I can say is don't, don't be filled with hate because that's that's an emotion that you're wasting on them. So there's one guy I was talking to, he went through hell at work uh, from a female manager and I get that quite a lot actually. Not to say female managers are wrong but like just like in business, so the psychopaths, male and female, they, they rise up the ladder. But you know, don't hate because you need that. You need that to work on yourself. And you know, who cares? You know, who cares about these? They're gone. They're, 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 I found this this collage that I made up oh, years ago, and uh, I, I like making collages. Uh, well, I use I don't get do it much now, but I just think that there's a there's a sort of a transformative process in the actual collage. I'm not very good at it. But uh, I want to show. I want to just want to show you this one. This is because this, you know, the whole thing of art being the the maker of reality or the portent of future change. But this one here, you see it. It has a picture of a hare, which is an animal, along with the raven. I have a sort of an affinity to. I always seem to see ravens, ravens, seagulls, and hares when something significant has happened in my life. I don't know why. It just seems to happen. Uh, there's a hare. And then the title is Building a Sense of Reality. Uh, I just don't know where I got that. And then something, the life story of, and then, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, a, a skeleton here pointing at a guy. It's a dummy's ventriloquist on the stage. It's from an old comic book. And uh, I'm just looking at this thing, and it's, that's exactly what happens to people. And there's a woman bound here. And this is long before I ever thought I was going to write a, a successful book about, you know, psychopaths and all that stuff and become kind of known for it. But it was sort of like, it, that's what was happening in the background all through my life. I was building this new sense of reality. Uh, and it's, it, I didn't know I had all this stuff inside me from my childhood that, that actually has come to mean something now in the fullness of time. And uh, so... This is how you deal with the issue, is you must build yourself a new sense of reality. And that's what's happening in the world anyway. There really is a revolution going on right now, but it's a very different kind of revolution. It's a revolution of consciousness. It's, a, it's happening on the internet. It's not a revolution of people throwing rocks and stones and attacking soldiers and police because that won't work that's doomed to failure and always has been and that plays right into the hands of the controllers that it's what's happening is people are waking up in their minds as they're developing new ways of living and new ways of thinking and that's a uh, that's 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 the battle of armageddon if there's such a thing as a battle of armageddon it's happening in the domain of human consciousness and i've been saying that all along now and, and I, I, that is actually happening and uh once once you know, one person does it, it plays off on another and it plays off on another.